Hey everyone, it's Dying Demon, and today we're taking a little look at Empyrean, or Inferian, or however the hell you pronounce it. Basically, it's a space survival crafting game. You have to crash land on a planet, build, survive, you know, make little mini hentai plants, or axe food, fruit, or the hell you call it. Now, today I'm not doing a full real look through of the game, I'm just gonna be you know, just showing you around a few things of it, and then showing off a, uh, item that I downloaded from the Steam Workshop that's really helping me out. So before we begin, uh, let's just say that, uh, it's going to be a big, la la uh, blah, blah, a big lackluster. Not everything is finished in this base. I am building this base with Amy, though I am trying to get Fox to uh, join in. He should sooner or later. Uh, I apologize for the loud noises as you heard. It was mid-storm and underground in my farm, it's really loud. They're also really loud right here. Jesus. Oh, bird. <laughs> so. Alright, I'm just going down here to check something. Did I get that to work right? Yes, I did. That's all gone. Good. Amy and Fox's room, my room, living space that we have not furnished yet. I said, now, overall, you have a lot you can do in this game. From digging, building, you have a lot of textures and stuff you can build with. Uh, here, let me find the color gun. This lets you, you know, change the color. Ah, no, put it back. And X is or you can use a texture gun and point it at the wall and change the texture that the wall has. I'm not going to do that because with my luck I'm going to screw something up and Amy's going to kill me. But uh, you can build your own ships, you can go exploring planets, you can earn money to trade with people. And for the most part this game has some single player stuff, but it's really made to be played with other players. This is a small server that I own, it's about four people in size. Uh, me, Fox, and Amy take up three of it. But the game itself has a large amount of scalability made to be played with multiple alliances and groups. So what I mean? These are what are called factory ships. They're built in a workshop, in a factory. They're pre-built. You don't have to do any of the building. And I like them because I'm not that creative with building. Most of the design and coloring and stuff you see is Amy. I'm better at the technical stuff. Speaking of which, let me turn on my jetpack before I kill myself. You do have to defend your base. Okay, seriously, why are you quiet right here? Huh, whatever. You uh, do have to defend your base, so I got big old guns for that. But today, oh and yeah, there's a crash Titan. This is the back end of it. We've been salving, salvaging it for parts, digging it out and whatnot. And as if I was testing out the texture gun. Um, this is where I dug out one of the engines. But what I'm going to show you today is more of a spotlight. You see, with the Steam Workshop, other people can build things and then upload them to the workshop where you then go to... Hi, I'm fat, like, just friggin' Onyx Black Santa. Um, but, uh... You can go to your blueprints, and you can actually make things like this. These two up here are Steam Workshop items, as it dic dictated by the little gear and wrench. The one I'm showing today is something called the Mining Cart. Now, it's not super heavy on resources. It's not the best thing out there, but it is really, really good at doing its job, which is mining. You can see that little iron deposit, 31%. Yeah, I mined all that out in 10 minutes. I really should chop it down and make some wood blocks. Um, for the most part, I've been doing this with it. I'm working on making a tunnel, which I want to turn into a road with signs and everything. You can see it in the back of the tunnel. And it's been digging this hole. Now, many times when you download digging machines, they're very finicky. They're push-button type machines. You have to 
constantly adjust your axis and your rotation and everything else. With this, Jesus, the wind is loud in this cave. You just hop on in. Uh, I really should have brought food with me. As you can see, I'm also... I didn't bring any fuel either. I'm running low on fuel. Jesus, what's wrong with me? Uh, it auto-mines for you. So as I mine, it stores the crushed stone and the iron and everything else in here so I don't have to. You know what? I got food on me. What am I talking about? Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Throw you right there. And I'm in this thing, so that helps me none. Uh, give me a moment. I'm going to go stuff my face. Nom, nom, nom. Gives you better nutrients when it's cooked, but what am I going to care? I have like seven or to eight hundred corn in my fridge in the fridge back in the base, and I need this to rot anyway, so I can make. Uh... Okay, and also come with the fridge in the back if you want to throw a beer in while you dig. But anywho, um, so I'm just going to show you the basics of it. So first, you want to power it up. I already have it in free mode, so I'm going to point it to the mine here. I set this on the other side of the mountain at ground level so I know what to aim for. So just get my crosshairs on it, my reticle, hold down shift, hit O. I'm now in fixed mining mode. I will constantly dig towards this fixed angle. As you can see, it doesn't quite like it. Now, just to warn you, the mining mode can be a bit loud, but basically, you just push W, it starts digging, I recommend getting a hover height of about 1.8. This is where I find the best head to ground contact, which sounds so wrong. Um, just sounds like someone dry humping the ground. Anywho, it literally, the six drill heads will drill. And the cool thing about, my, about the mining cart, as with anything with a harvest resource box and the harvesting drills, it auto collects the stuff for you. No need to constantly hit F. This is very similar to what you'll find with your laser drill. And I mean, it's a bit time consuming because you're just going to hold the W button and just dig forward, maybe A here, maybe D there, just to give a bit of a widening and just dig. So what I'm going to do is I want to just show you the moment that I push through the ground. So we're going to either speed it up or skip it depending on how I decide to cut this video. And I'll come back whenever I reach that point. All right, everyone, with less than, I'm pretty much just around 20 meters left to go. I'm popping in to let you see the rest of it come through for when we break ground. Now, I've been digging for about, oh, uh, 45 minutes, give or take. I did have to stop in the middle for a server reset. It happens every 24 hours uh, and getting attacked by drones, but... I should be seeing light very soon. Now I will say there are some issues with uh, this drill that will probably get worked out later. And I'm hoping they do. I mean it's a work in progress workshop item by a fan. And what's going on is it likes to turn. It'll hook a piece of ground, tilt itself sideways just a tiny bit, and stay in fixed mode. Doing this, it constantly rotates out some. As you go on, you'll end up completely on your side, but still digging forward. And you won't even realize it. I'm just trying to widen this. There it is. We're breaking out. Come on, dig. I'm coming out a bit underground because of the issue I talked about. It dug a hole deeper than I needed it to, so it's going to be a bit of an issue laying road, but I can make it happen. So, we're just going to keep going straight until we flatten the whole thing out. I don't feel like digging up because then I'll have to put a ramp and there's that whole issue with, you know, flatness. Come on. Dig out them sidewalls. Widen you up a little bit. Come on. And... I can finish you up with a laser. Hit me out of them and keep driving forward. I want to get right to that spot. Get me on some flat ground if possible. Come on. 
it might not be possible to reach flat, flat ground. I'd have to level out the land and use ramps and whatnot, but we'll see. Come on. You do have to kind of finagle it back and forth. You know, sometimes you go to the side, widen the tunnel out a little bit, then push forward, and it'll dig it out. But far, all in all, this is my favorite one. I tried Dig Dug. It's not bad, but it's, for some reason, doesn't seem to handle as easily as this one. Though Dig Dug doesn't grab the ground and then start rotating itself. But, you know, everything's going to have its quirks. Come on. Seriously? Dig. There we go. I just had to back up and hit it. We're almost there. Look at that. I can actually see her rising across my uh, reticle. Come on. Let's go. Let's switch to free mode. Ah, nope. Wrong button. Yeah, you see how it just resettled in the proper position? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's jack up the height some. We're just going to try and dig this down. That way I can get it out. We'll worry about flattening it later. Come on. We're breaking through. We're getting out. Ah, I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? Get me out. Come on. Come on. Up and out. Up, 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 up. Stop digging. Bounce about. Can I still can't get out. Ah! No, don't turn. Jesus. Let's drop you back down some. Back you in. And we'll come on. Come on. It has a jump ability if I ever need to use it, but I'm trying not to at the moment. Come on. You're almost there. And if I lift up the three, can I get out? Looks like I can. Looks like I am out. Ah, let's shut you down for a moment. Ah. <sighs> Here we go, a tunnel to the other side of my base. Then I'm going to turn into a road. Let's see what's on the other side besides some ships. A lake, an island, and all in all, beautiful. Whew, Jesus. Okay, let me take you back over, and drive you over the mountain, and then we'll, uh, Go back to the tunnel and show just how big it is. And what I'm, and you know, just the rough version. Ah, no, get in. Jesus. Now turn you on. Oh, I can't purr. Insert failed uh, purr noise is all I can say. Hmm. Hello. And I'm over the mountain. I mean, it doesn't seem like far, but having to go around the mountain like a hover vehicle or a bike is a pain in the butt. Speaking of which, I don't think I went the right way. I did not. I'm a moron. No one saw that. Hi, mules. Bonk. Please tell me I didn't just kill you. <laughs> ah, here we go. And there's my base. Do, 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 There we go. Wow, it's almost nighttime here, huh? And parking? Now, what were you shooting? Please don't shoot my ships. I'm going to use all the rock I got from this dig to build the cement I need to make the roads. You know, save on resources. 
or resource gathering. So, let's take a look see. Whoa. Comes a strange noise. I hear you, Woodpecker. Calm down. I hear you too, owl creature bird thing. You can just kind of see it not wanting to load that tunnel. That is an issue I've noticed that if you have nothing built on it, the terrain deloads rather quickly. But here we go. Now you can see by this, the way the wall tilts, it grabs the uh, excavator and it turns sideways. You see how the tunnel seems to turn on its side? Ooh, I can see the cross of the squares that form the um, uh, tunnel. Oh, that's weird. Anywho, it gets on its side, and I don't notice till about around up there. You can actually see where I noticed, and the tunnel flattens back out right before we get to it right here. Yep. But it, for the most part, it likes to kind of turn sideways, line along the edge, and go. That's not that big of a deal. I mean, I can flatten this out and still use it. But yeah, that is the, uh, I forgot what it's called now. Um... That is the mining card. I will be providing links in the description so that you can download it yourself if this is something you want. It's rather light on resources for something that can do all this. And who knows, maybe next time you see me log in or you see a video from this one, this tunnel will now be a highway with a road and signs and everything. Until next time, this is Dying Demon and see y'all later. Goodbye.